Hey, what's going on YouTube? I know it has been a while. These these types of videos, after such a long time, it's always awkward to try to give explanations, excuses for why it's been so long. I know it's been a long time. I have had some transitions because as you know, Kevin and I no longer live together. And this is my new place. How do you like the new digs? And, you know, I, I'm doing my best to do my best. I always classify that. that. That's always how I describe it. Doing my best to do my best. Anyway, so this is really a follow-up largely about the medicine. So I did do a video before about thinking about taking the medicine and like, I don't know, maybe. And then I was finally like, you know what, I'm going to do it. And as my neurologist suggested, and to keep this video from being a million minutes long, I'm not going to go into too much detail about that. But he suggested I started in spite of the fact that my primary care physician really didn't think he was going to do that. She was like, because she's not a big fan of the medicine. But he suggested it, so I was like, you know what? It's a pill. I'll deal with it. I'll take it. Because my so. primary care physician, and this is part of my problem with starting the medicine, I was like, oh, well, you know, just like Pringles, once you pop, the fun don't stop. Like, once you start taking it, you can't stop taking it. And my doctor was like, who told you that? I, I love my primary care physician. But she was like, who told you that? That that's not true. She's like, so what you can do, since we're going to give this a try, you can go ahead, take it for about six months, see if it really helps you. If it does, you can keep it up. If it doesn't, you can stop it. And I loved that. So I was like, cool. And I went ahead and I took it for about three months every day, every single day. Oh, Baggio. And I was like, no, I don't feel this is doing anything to help me at all. So I am just not going to take it anymore. I'm not going to take it. No, I'm not going to take it. Anyway, what was that Twisted Sister? I don't know. Anyway, so I decided to stop taking it and I stopped. And then, just later on, I decided to start again, sort of on my own. And I was like, well, maybe I need to get a new neurologist. Because I really didn't like that guy. Because, one, he suggested what all of the other neurologists suggested, which I didn't care for. Because the reason that my primary care physician sent me to him was under the expectation that he would offer something a little different, but he offered the exact same thing everybody else offers on top of the fact that he was kind of an a-hole. So I was like, let me go ahead and find a new nice neurologist since I'm going to go ahead and take this medicine. So I had been taking it and I had been going to the gym, have been going to the gym. And I read this book by this natural healer guy, Noel Baden. You hear me talk about him in a lot of my MS-related videos. And he explains that, A, going to the gym is important, and that's, you know, part of what I got from the personal trainer at Planet Fitness. He suggested, he said, people who've been diagnosed with MS are tend to be okay as long as they don't give up on themselves and keep going to the gym and all that stuff, etc. So anyway, not too long after that, I did read Noel Baden's book. I call him Dr. Noel Baden because he is amazing. And one of the things he suggested in his book is going to the gym Monday, Tuesday, off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, off Saturday, Sunday. And I love that schedule because I used to be like all over the place when it would come to going to the gym. I'd skip a day and I'd be like, oh, I'll go this weekend, blah, 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 blah. But no, with this, 
I take the gym like I take, you know, a regular Monday through Friday work schedule. So that's a part of my routine. Going to the gym those four days a week. Sometimes I do three, sometimes I do four. I don't beat myself up when I do three because I still think that's a lot and or I still think that's good and four icing on the cake. So anyway, I've been taking the medicine, going to the gym regularly and ultimately my neurologist, she was like, Aaron, looking at your blood work that you've been getting, it appears that Obagio might be lowering your already low white blood cell count. And I'm like, wow, really? And she was like, and because of that, I want you to stop taking Obagio. And I was like, but it, it seemed like it was helping me. I was improving and all that stuff. And you want me to stop it now? So I was like, whatever. Let me get the vitamins, finally, that my primary care physician suggested that I get. It's just I had been so vitamined out, so when she initially suggested it, I did not run out to get it because I'm like, everybody's got a vitamin. It's, it's not a cure-all, period. But I was like, let me go ahead since I'm on, I was on this and I had to stop it. Let me go ahead and finally get all of the vitamins. I have no excuse. I ordered them all online. What is it? Um, raw, not raw, saw palmetto extract because, you know, bladder issues. CoQ10. She said ubiquinol is fine, but that's just a more expensive version. And CoQ10 can get you where you need to be. Ginkgo biloba. NAC and lecithin, soy less less oh my gosh, lecithin, soy lecithin, but I don't know, it looks like, it, it seems really hard to get soy lecithin, she suggested five grams daily, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's a lot, because these are a hundred milligrams, so you... I was like, gosh, five grams, that's a lot of them. But um, anyway, the rest of the stuff I just take as directed. But um, I take that and I, I feel that that's good. Combined, oh, and um, vitamin B12. But you, ha she said, she explained that you have to take it as a lozenge or a drop or something like that because b12 if it gets to your stomach it, it, it's not going to do you any good so if you just pop it as a pill like other things it's not going to really do you any good so you have to take it as a lozenge or something like that so it'll sort of get into your system differently and vitamin d3 as a liquid so i have d3 drops and i'm keeping up with that and, and I, I feel good also and I think a large part of it comes down to keeping up a good routine because I would improve before when I was living in Laurel and that was while I was working out like I would work out at the gym downstairs, although I pretty much mostly do cardio. And the guy, Noel Baden, explains in the book that cardio is like, cardio is fun and good, but where it's really at, where the rubber really meets the road is muscle building exercises. So now that I've sort of switched to that, cardio in the beginning of the daily workout, but um, muscle building exercises after I feel that that's really helpful and as I was saying about Laurel I, I used to go for walks but I'd get to the point that I'd be like eh, you know I, I don't feel like going on a walk tonight I'm just gonna be at home and just do whatever but now 
I, and then after days and days of doing that, I would start to decline, and then I would start to be like, oh my gosh, you know, woe is me, blah, 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 and then I just wouldn't do it anymore. I have a dog now, a tiny little dog, a tiny little beautiful girl who's nowhere near me, even though this is a studio apartment, so she's just by the door. But I'm tiny, tiny little beautiful poodle. She's a toy poodle, a very gay dog, very gay dog. <laughs> Whenever I tell somebody who's like, so what kind of dog do you have? A poodle, the world's gayest dog. She's a toy poodle. She's tiny. But she, I tell you, one day when I was living, when Kevin and I were living together, like I had a really sick bad situation that I like literally could not even really pick myself up out of bed. Kevin was helping me pick myself up out of bed. Kevin's a good guy in a lot of ways. Anyway, while I was in the bed and she had never done this before, my dog got in the bed to cuddle with me. And that's when I was sold on her. I'm like, yes. I have a dog. I have to walk her regularly. There's no just being sitting at home and being like, oh, I don't feel like going for the walk tonight. I, 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 I'm just going to sit at home and, I don't know, watch Netflix or read a book or whatever. And because of the fact that I have her, I have to go for these walks every single day. In addition to my gymming four times a week, in addition to my vitamins and all of that stuff. And, and I think that that's really helpful because of the fact that I, I can't just rest on my laurels as people's, uh, my laurels. I did a pun. And so I, I, I think all of that is really good. I don't know what my doctor is going to say because apparently my white blood cell count was, te she gave, she's like, get off of Baggio for two weeks and let's see how that improves your white blood cell count. And apparently it hasn't really. So now she wants me to see a hematologist to see what's going on with my white blood cell counts because it's not, it's not HIV or anything like that. It's, they're trying to figure out what it is. So we'll see. And I, I, Nothing makes you want to procreate like being told that, and I'm holding this medicine because this medicine, because of this medicine, I was, you're not supposed to procreate when you're on Obagio. And it takes about two years for Obagio to get out of your system. And as long as you have it in your system, you're not supposed to procreate. And I'll tell you, I was, I've always been gung-ho for adoption, and I am still gung-ho for adoption. But nothing makes you want to produce a child like being told that you, and uh, I'm smiling, but I, I, oh my gosh, this is, it, nothing, and I can only imagine people like going to fertility clinics and all of that stuff and how depressing that can be. No, I can't not I can't not only imagine I can't only imagine because because of this I know what it feels like to not have a child as I don't have a child. I mean, I am same gender loving. So of course I would have to use non-traditional methods to produce a child, but you know, it nothing makes you want to have a child more than being told you cannot have a child. So all of that to say I'm satisfied at the moment being off of the medicine. It might have been super helpful. It might not have been. I don't know. Anyway, that's my update. This is going to be over 15 minutes. Peace. Be blessed.